Hey everybody, it's Bill DeRosa from Talking Finger, and this is part two of three in our video series on how to use Facebook's new personal profile timeline. What we're going to cover today is how to create and manage your friends list, how to use that friends list for posting, and as well how to subscribe to your friends and pick and choose kind of what messages or what posts you get in your home feed from them. So, all right, let's go on from there. All right, so to access your list, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to here in home. And you'll see lists over here on the left-hand side. Click more. Now, this is all of the lists associated with your personal profile right here. Now, Facebook automatically generates a bunch of these. It generated all these and this one down here. And everybody's going to see close friends. Everybody's going to see acquaintances. And most of you will see family. Some of you, if you, in your personal profile, you have a Facebook fan page link to it, it will also generate a list based on this one. And it will also generate some other things in your profile, such as uh, your university that you went to or a high school you went to. So these ones will automatically be generated as well. One other one that's automatically generated by Facebook is this restricted one. Now, a little bit about this restricted one. Anybody you put into this list here will only see things on your Facebook personal profile that you have listed as public. They will not see anything else you post or write or anything unless you actually make it public. So, Now another thing about these lists are some of them are what's called smart lists. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one for right now. All right, and you'll see at the top of any list that was a smart list is this little lightning bolt and it tells you right there smart lists update themselves. Now. What this means is anybody I connect with on Facebook or who I have been connected with on Facebook before Timeline, who in their personal profiles also had Longwood High School, they were automatically put into this list for me. Okay, All right, so how do you manage these lists? And I'm going to show you an example right here. We're going to click on the talking finger list that I have. And again, remember this is work and this was a smart list so it was updated automatically. But in the upper right hand corner of every single list, you'll see this gray drop down button. Just click on it. And it gives you some options. I can rename this list. So if I want to change it from talking finger to something else, I can add remove friends. Uh, again, this works the exact same for every list. You simply click or unclick people to add or take them away from here. I can merge a list, so rather than having to pick and choose people, if I know there's a specific list that I wanted to just drop into this one, I could. But probably the most important one is this one right here. It's choose update types. Now, you'll find over time, you'll start using these lists more and more to follow certain people or to see what's going on in certain conversations within these lists. And I'm going to show you that a little bit later. But this is where you decide what things you want to hear from, from these people in this list. So status updates, photos. And if you notice as I take things away, uh, putting them back, you have to refresh. But as I take things away, it kind of eliminates the things that are going on on this list to the point where I really warded it down. Okay. Now, to add this stuff back in, you simply check them and you'll notice this changes in here. Now, this doesn't always change in real time. Sometimes you actually have to go back, click on the list again to see how much it changed. Um, so there's always glitches in Facebook for stuff like that. But that's the basic navigation. And again, this works the same exact for every single list you have. So now I'd like to show you how to actually create a list. Now, because Facebook already gives me several lists that I can put people in that I share things with, what I typically end up building when I create a list are what I would call exclusionary lists. These are lists that I end up hiding things from more so. Uh, things like you know my family events, uh, kids' birthdays, where I'm going on vacation, things like that. So you know you can use the list any way you want. And the reason I use exclusionary lists will become a little clearer later when you actually see how I post. But for now, no matter what you do, creating a list is the same exact thing. Hit it. You name the list whatever you want to name it. And then you can add people to it. Now you can add it there or always up here you can add friends. And I'm just going to pick the first few people here. And all lists work the exact same. You click on the people you want to include. Unclick them if you don't want to. Done. And there's my new list right here. So let's show you how to actually use these lists when you're making a post. Go here, go to my profile. All right, your status update as usual. I'm just going to make a little test here. 
And every time you make a status update, you'll notice this drop down menu right here. Go ahead and click on it. Okay. So you'll notice public, which obviously public means anybody has access to this. If they come to your profile, they can come look at your profile and see any posts that you, you have made that are listed as public. Friends, if you do friends, it goes to your entire group of friends without any kind of customization as far as hiding it from anybody. So this post that I would make because it's friends, and you'll see except restricted. Let me just cover that quickly. Restricted is another list that you could put people into that see nothing on your profile, no posts, no matter what, unless you mark them as public. So if I click on public again, you'll notice it just says public. It doesn't say the restricted, but every single other, other one you're going to see that you choose is going to say accept restricted. But let me go on here. Friends uh, goes to all of these people. Custom I'm going to cover after because that has to do with the exclusionary list that I made. That's when you would use this. And then all the other ones right here, these are the lists that you have there. Here's the test one I made. So close friends, for an example, if, uh, you know, going out to dinner this weekend or something and I want my close friends to know about it to maybe meet us up there, we choose that. Um, you know, work, this is my talking finger list that I showed you earlier of all the people associated with my business. If I want to make a post specific that only they can read, I would do that. Uh, my high school, if we're going to have a high school reunion and I want to share some stuff about it, etc. So all these lists work the exact same, wherever you choose. Problem is you can only choose one at a time here, so you can't choose multiple, okay? So that's where custom comes in. Custom is, is kind of the one I use a lot, unless it's public or friends. Um, I usually don't use these lists that much. It's completely up to you. I typically like to use custom, and I'll show you why. Okay, let me go back to its default setting here. When you click custom, this is what you're going to see. It's always going to be make this visible to and hide from. So make this visible to, this is your opportunity. If you wanted to send this message to many different lists, because remember before you can only pick one at a time, I can type in as many lists as I want to here. So I can pick talking finger, test, my high school, all right, so now I do have the opportunity here to send this message to multiple lists instead of being just locked into sending it to one. Okay, so that's what that basically means. Friends of friends, now that means any of my friends and their friends can see it. So if I have 454 friends and they each have 100 friends each, um, you do the math. I'm horrible at math, so you can figure out what that number is, but that's basically who that's shown to. So you know, the use for this, I don't know. Uh, if you're going to have a big party house and you just want to invite everybody in the world, I guess you would use something like this. But, you know, up to you how you actually use it. Friends, obviously, this is just going to be shown to my 454 friends. I already showed you this. Only me. Um, only me is kind of silly in a post. That means the only person who's going to see this post is me, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But... This is the setting I use most of the time, and what I mean by when I set up that exclusionary list earlier, hide this from. So what I'm doing here is I'm showing this post to 454 of my friends minus these people. So I'll pick, uh, let's just pick test for now, okay? And I can also add, again, as many lists as I want. And that's the beauty of using this custom privacy. You can add as many lists as you want or as not, okay? So I'll just leave it for test for right now. Save changes. So now, basically, the reason for using this is, say, uh, it's my daughter's B-Day. Okay, so I might not want everybody on my Facebook to life to know that it's my daughter's birthday. So that's why I like setting up these exclusionary lists. So that I'm sharing with all 454 of my friends, except for people who really don't need to know this. Okay, And that's one of the reasons why I like using this custom piece right here. Uh, what I want to show you now is how to put individual people into lists and as well how to determine what people show up in my ticker and my home feed. So I'm going to go to Eric. And at the top of every profile, you're going to notice two buttons right here. One is friends and one is subscribe. 
Friends, this is basically what list you put them in. Okay, now Eric's a close friend, so I've checked here. Since we work together at Talking Finger, I've also put them in my two Talking Finger lists. So you can determine whatever list you want to put these friends in. As well, if uh, Eric sparks me to make a new list, I can do it right here easily. I can just create a whole new list. Now, subscribe is kind of the important one right here. This is directly what's going to determine what shows up in my ticker here and what shows up in my home feed. I'll give you an example here. All updates. Now, this means no matter what Eric posts, it's going to show up in my home feed. So whether you post something and it gets absolutely no reaction from anybody or anything, it's basically going on my home feed. What most updates is, if Eric makes a post and nobody reacts to it, I'm not going to see it when I check most updates. It almost works like a top story. So if people start reacting to Eric's post, then I will start seeing it because I've selected most updates. Only important ones, those are ones that have a lot of interaction on them and seem to really be a top story. Um, ones that you know has a lot of likes on, a lot of comments. So that's what's going to determine here. So what Eric, I'm going to do all updates as I do with most of my close friends here. Now, the next thing down here, what type of updates? Well, this is where you determine what kind of updates you're going to get from people. So, you know, if your friend plays a lot of Mafia Wars and you just don't want to hear about that they, they need a new gun or if they play Farmville and need a shovel, uh, you can simply unclick here. And this goes for anything. So if you don't want to see their comments and likes, you can unclick that. And this comments and likes, if you notice your ticker here, it's kind of a lot of things, likes, likes, commented things like that that's what this kind of directly affects is this ticker up here so you know you go to each individual person as you come across them and you can really segregate into how often you hear from them so one more little note about uh, the list is that you can actually use them as home feed so I'm gonna click home and here's my list I'm gonna click more now, as you start filling up all these lists with your close friends, your acquaintances, etc., and you fill these all up, you can actually use these as your home feeds. For example, if I want to see only posts by people who are in my Longwood High School list, I would po click there, and there you go. These are only posts that are in that list. So I can go through here. Same thing, close friends. Now I'll only see the posts by the people I put in there. So it's a nice streamlined way once you build all your lists once you get these all populated. So it's worth spending a little bit of time to go in here and adding all the people that you want to to these particular lists. All right. So this has been part two of three of our video series on Facebook's new personal profile timeline. If you have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, or something we did not cover in the video that you come across, please feel free to come to our Facebook fan page to share with everybody. It's facebook.com forward slash talking finger. I'm going to be creating part three. It'll be out in a couple of days and look for that one. That one will be covering some more in-depth privacy settings in your privacy section of your personal profile. And until then, thank you very much for watching and talk to you soon.